Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today, gonna cut some rocks open. I actually have quite a few little geodes I managed to find, so uh, let's get at it. Start things off. I got a little bit of that kind of yellow and black agate from uh, near Levan. Um, yeah, it's kind of got a yellowish color to it. A little bit of that yellow. Here's some black agate from Levan. This one was actually up in the from the conglomerate layer rather than the volcanic where most of it comes from. And, oh, oh, that's just solid, actually. That's cool. Drop that piece. <laughs> so, huh, yeah, I might want to slab some more pieces of that up, get some light going through it. Very nice. Here's this geode from Dugway. Looks nice. Looks like a good old Dugway geode. Here's a little bit of red jasper I saw sitting around, and, and there's jasper. Oh, there's an interesting little circle right there. Hmm, I wonder if that's like a little fossil. Sometimes you will get little fossils trapped in them if they originated in a limestone. Really cool. Here's some more Levan black agate. The thing shattered a bit, so let's just kind of look at the pieces. Got that. Got that one. That one. These are the nice pieces right here. A little bit better, more clear. Nice. This is a stream pebble I found that looks like travertine, basically calcite, so yeah, you can see kind of the calcite form through there. Probably would look nice with light shining through it, don't know if you can see any. Cool. There we go, another nice looking Dugway geode. Whoa! <laughs> that one is really filled in, look at that. There's a lot of calcitony there, agate, you got some banding there. Here's some more of the uh, black agate from Levan. Okay, looks about like I thought. Pretty nice. This is some of that black and yellow agate that we found that we hadn't cut open. Very nice. Oh, yeah. It's so nice to have that yellow in there. It adds a great contrast and some good lines in there. Nice. Here's a piece of jasper I saw laying around. Kind of a jasper agate. <laughs> And it didn't really cut, it just fractured as I tried to cut it, but that's what it looked like. Very nice still. Here's some more black agate from Levan. Didn't realize I was gonna cut so much Levan black agate today and calcite. Oh, that's kind of cool. You got that calcite in different patterns in there that makes it look very different. Here's another Dugway geode. Oh, very nice. Oh, it's very filled in. This one's more like a thunder egg. <laughs> cool. Here's a piece of Wonderstone from Salina. And, oh, kind of neat. Uh, based on the colors, I actually know where this came from. This would have been the, uh, the uh, South Hill. <laughs> cool. Here's some more of that black and yellow agate. Oh yeah. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, cut thin pieces of that, it should look really cool. Of course, what would a cutting be without some uh, Vernon Wonderstone? So, probably is gonna look like that. And, yeah, pretty much. It's still nice, it's always nice. This is a little bit of that red Levan agate that we found. I wanted to see if there was anything else inside of it, and a little bit, some black too, actually, Decent amount of black. Really cool. And our last one for today is this Dugway geode that was already broken here, but look at that. Looks like a good thunder egg. Let's see. Yep, it continues. Very nice. Very nice indeed. That's a good one to end on. As always, some nice pieces. That was uh, about what I thought for the most part, but yeah, still really nice. And it is September now, the temperature's starting to come down, and rock hounding will once again start to begin in earnest as the temperature is much more preferred <laughs> to go out rock hounding. So look forward to some more rock hounding, and yeah, I'm excited. Let's get out and see what we can find. And remember, there is treasure everywhere.